cell organelle were given a different names like a golgi complex i said they are traffic police of the cell or postman of the cell as they are taking in the proteins and delivering the proteins so golgi complex got its name because of its functional aspect likewise we are having another cell organelle by name lysosome so here if you divide the word lyso so so means nothing but the body and lyso always means disintegration in general we can say breaking up okay so the bodies which will break up what these bodies and what they will break up will we'll see lysosomes lysosomes are also called as suicidal bags of the that's not because of uh, depression and all suicidal bags there's some other more concept related to suicidal bags for here okay when you take the lysosomes the lysosome are the cell organelle so definitely they are living and to perform some particular function okay so when you talk about the lysosome the lysosome is surrounded by a membrane so far we discussed different cell organelles but we didn't discuss that they surrounded by membrane did we did we discuss anything related to outer covering of endoplasmic reticulum did we say anything related to golgi complex outer covering no yes we didn't discussed about the outer membrane for these cell organelles but here we are discussing the membrane over here for this cell organelle specifically why why this lysosomes are having membrane outside their body even though this is protected inside a cell if you take the whole cell this is one cell organelle inside a cell and cell will have plasma membrane other than plasma membrane this lysosome individually is having a membrane of its own why it has to carry the membrane because the inside of lysosome if you see it is totally acidic acidic in nature acidic means what the ph will be almost between 4 to 5 You know about pH and all, no? Yes, ma'am. pH level. Okay, hydrogen concentration. Okay, fine. So here, if if you take the lysosome cell organelle, the lysosome will have its inner content totally at acidic pH. Its pH will be four to five. At this acidic pH, if the cell contents are released outside. then the surrounding cell totally will get lysed so it's like suicide of the cell the cell will die lysed means what death of the cell isn't it so here in order to avoid death of the cell because of the acidic condition inside the lysosome the lysosomes process a membrane around them Okay. Yes. But uh, the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi complex also have membrane. In the one side there was written. They they doesn't possess any membrane separately. They are uh, endoplasmic reticulum is a network of structure. Golgi complex is a network of structure. You'll have sister the tubules and all arranged uh, in a flattened sac-like structure. We won't find any outer covering membrane. around any cell organelle except lysosome and nucleus am i clear okay ma'am so here the uh, question is why the lysosomes possess this or the non possess cell membrane what is cell membrane rona this is basic we discussed cell membrane lot many times cell membrane is different We are saying that the word itself indicates the cell. Around the cell, you will have membrane. That is cell membrane. 
okay and inside cell you are having different organelles like the nucleus endoplasmic reticulum vacuoles ribosomes lysosomes all these structures will be inside the cell and cell is protected by cell membrane that's all outer covering of the cell individually all the cell organelles doesn't have any other thing except only two organelles one is nucleus other one is lysosome okay yeah okay fine now uh, we just deviated from the concept yeah where we are we are discussing about um yeah it's okay just leave, leave the point over there and let's concentrate on the um, present slide so we are, we are talking about lysosomes and the lysosomes possess an outer membrane by lysosomes specifically possess the outer membrane is the point of question here inside they are acidic in nature the ph is very low between 4 and 5 because of this acidic nature if it doesn't have any membrane to cover it all these acid materials will come out of the lysosomes and the surrounding cell the other parts of the cell may get lysed and ultimately result in death of the cell that's why lysosomes are called suicidal bags the cell will die because of rupture of this acid content from the lysosome so it has to be controlled how it can be checked because of the presence of membrane around the lysosome okay now why the inner material of lysosome is acidic in nature how it became acidic because there are some enzymes called hydrolytic enzymes a mixture of enzymes you will observe inside the lysosome so what are those usually we find in lysosomes the different types of enzymes includes more than 40 types of enzymes we'll find in lysosomes among them some are proteases nucleases like this so all these are enzymes acidic enzymes especially so the proteases they will digest proteins the lipases they digest lipids the nucleases they will digest nucleases so where you will find the lysosome you will not find the lysosome in humans you will find lysosome in animal cells don't ask that as human for all animals that's a separate concept okay so here if you take the lysosome you will have lysosomes in animal cells why we won't have lysosomes in humans because in humans we have digestive enzymes to digest all these proteins lipids nucleic acids and all but such digestive enzymes are not present in animals okay and even some few plants also possess lysosomes few plants not all plants so lysosomes are the enzymes which will digest what are the material the plant or the animal will take it the plant especially you would have heard of insectivorous plants you know anybody know insectivorous plants no ma'am yes ma'am yes from the plant that eat eat uh, small organisms like insects or how we eat and through its mouth opening like in the mouth pitcher plant yeah we just like that yes yes okay nice yes section yes okay so some plants that say some plants will have lysosomes not all plants i said some few plants will have lysosomes like the insectivorous plants uh, sundew yes so many examples are there yeah bladder wort where the 
you you have this concept in secure students in eight classes and not in eight in six it was there oh okay okay fine good to know that uh, you are aware of this word now here <coughs> the plants uh, insectivorous plants they take in insects so when they are taking in insect means what the insect will have the protein body the insect may have the fat molecule isn't it so these has to be digested usually plants don't have digestive enzymes and most of the animals they they take the protein by the lipid diet whatever they they take all those cannot be digested by digestive enzymes because digestive enzymes are totally absent or there their intestinal parts not like humans so uh, the animals and few plants they will have the lysosome cell organelle and this cell organelle contains various enzymes and those enzymes will digest proteins proteins lipids nucleic acids based on the molecule they digesting the names were given proteases digest proteins lipases digest lipids nucleases digest nucleic acids likewise they you will be having hydrolyses phosphatases phosphodiesterases so many enzymes are there more than 40 enzymes will be there inside the lysosome so when you take the enzyme activity it happens with the low ph very low ph between 4 to 5 so all the enzymes has to be there in lysosomes and the lysosomes inside only digestion of all these things happens how digestion inside the lysosome happens there comes the word transport proteins you remember the transport proteins from where we got from the golgi complex just now we discussed yes and how the golgi complex is getting the proteins from the endoplasmic reticulum are you getting the link, linking or connectivity between each cell the endoplasmic reticulum produces proteins they will be processed in golgi complex and they will be transported to lysosome yes now yes. in lysosome okay in lysosome we are having enzymes that will digest the proteins so why the lysosomes are digesting proteins this is the functional aspect we'll see points you have to remember regarding a lysosome structure first one is the causes a membrane which is unique feature separate membrane will be there why this membrane we found around the lysosome <coughs> excuse me because inside lysosome we are having enzymes like proteases lipases nucleases that will digest various molecules like proteins lipids nucleic acids etc this mixture of enzyme acts at very low ph usually between 4 and 5 ph if these enzymes will come out of the cell if these enzymes come out of the cell they may result in cell death various types of lysosomes the first one is called primary lysosome second one is called secondary lysosome third one is called tertiary lysosome and fourth one is called quaternary lysosome so the lysosome exists in various forms like primary lysosomes secondary lysosomes tertiary lysosomes quaternary lysosomes in so for different forms is called polymorphism polymorphism showing cell organelle this is the only cell organelle which shows polymorphism okay this is a random way actually polymorphism showing the cell organelle is only lysosome 
polymorphism word okay with you the expression part in many forms in many morphological forms it exists to take the function of lysosomes we are saying they will be having enzymes and they will digest the materials suppose if a lysosome assume that this is the lysosome is having enzymes but these enzymes are inactive inactive means what they are not ready to digest anything they are just like granules inside a lysosome such lysosome is called primary lysosome okay i'm showing it one degree primary lysosome primary lysosomes are the lysosomes possessing enzymes which are not active when the enzymes will become active when the primary lysosome will get converted into secondary lysosome the primary lysosome how gets converted to secondary lysosome here you have to understand a word called here if you take the phagosome word you remember we discussed the cell membrane structure we talked about endocytosis pinocytosis processes did anyone remember those yes ma'am and also phagocytosis yeah okay so here assume that a bacteria came assume that a bacteria foreign molecule came and it 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 is uh, trying to enter into the body what happens the cell membrane will pinch off at this point and taking the bacteria into the cell assume that this is the bacteria and this is the cell membrane which has taken inside the bacteria okay now the bacteria was taken in this cell membrane bound molecule inside the body which came from outside is phagosome okay and the same way you can say it suppose a protein which was taken by a animal cell the protein will be engulfed by the cell inside the cell the protein will be like this we call it as phagosome so phagosome basically represents whatever molecules coming into the cell from outside so those are called phagosome assume that this is the phagosome with bacteria which came into the cell now when primary lysosome binds with the phagosome then that is called secondary lysosome this is the primary lysosome so inactive enzymes are there in primary lysosome which bonded with the phagosome which is formed by taking in the outside bacteria or protein molecule it gets through the cell membrane okay now when once both these things are bonded that is called secondary lysosome now when you take the secondary lysosome the enzymes inside secondary lysosomes will be active the basic difference between primary lysosome and secondary lysosome is the primary lysosome is just a lysosome with enzymes that's all which are not active they are not involved in any digestion process but once the primary lysosome binds with phagosome it has to be digested isn't it the bacteria which came inside the cell has to be digested it has to be removed out of the cell so there will be binding of primary lysosome with the phagosome and this total content we call as secondary lysosome primary lysosome along with phagosome is secondary lysosome now the secondary lysosome the enzymes get activated and they start eating away the bacteria that enzymes when the phago phagosome 
is binded with the primary lysosome the enzymes that active and they start showing activity on the phagosome the enzymes so what happens the phagosome will be digested and the phagosome will be lysed lysis of phagosome happens means the bacteria will be digested the bacteria will be lysed so this is the digested part which we call as tertiary lysosome tertiary lysosome was also called residual body the other name so here after the phagosome was digested by the secondary lysosomes the digested food will be poured outside okay what are the digested material they will move outside few parts which are not digested they will remain inside the lysosome so those are called tertiary lysosomes or residual body residual means what the remaining part so remaining part which was not digested that is the residual body of endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum from which proteins are produced the produce, produced proteins may go to outside to the target position which we call as secretion this so far we have seen that some of the proteins will get into golgi complex they'll be packaged and processed over then we have primary lysosome which are nothing but the golgi vacuoles or golgi vesicles which are picked up from the golgi apparatus the primary lysosome will have inactive enzymes they are not active they, they cannot digest anything okay only the enzymes will be there that is the primary lysosome then see the processes over here all the processes we discussed uh, uh, while discussing the functions of cell membrane pinocytosis you know taking in the fluid material then phagocytosis taking in the solid material this is outside the cell from outside the cell liquid material will be taken in or the solid material will be taken in so that you all the word they have given or phagosome see phagosome is the word just i used phagosome is the word which will take in the materials by pinching of the cell membrane can you see the cell membrane is getting pinched off they removed from the cell membrane and taking in the material either solid material or liquid material or you can have autophagic vesicle this, this i'll discuss autophagic vesicle i'll discuss later okay so in different ways we are getting molecules inside the cell various ways now once the mo uh, 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 molecules get into the cell the primary lysosome will mix with the phagosome like this and we get the secondary lysosome okay so this is the secondary lysosome so when you compare the primary lysosome and secondary lysosome in primary lysosome we have enzymes in inactive state and in secondary lysosome we have the cell uh, enzymes in active state so that they have to digest these materials now once the secondary lysosome digests everything see we got a residual body residual body means what are the material not digested the undigested material so that will be called as residual body or tertiary lysosome other word primary lysosome secondary lysosome tertiary lysosome a waste tertiary lysosome has to move out because this is a waste material no? has to be moved out of the cell which we call uh, ma'am uh, what is the residual body residual body is the one which after digestion of the material left over material this means residual means the undigested material or the waste material after digestion happened in secondary lysosome so the leftover material is called residual body or tertiary lysosome 
which will be moved out by process called exocytosis. Exo means what? Outside. Outside of the cell, the waste material will be expelled. That's called exocytosis. 